Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with a little mini tutorial. I just wanted to give you my scene file, my setup for a simulation like this one. So dynamic rope on translucent cylinder. So let's just get started in Cinema 4D. So fire up Cinema 4D and why don't we just start with a helix? All right, so far so good. This is my helix. I just want to change the end radius a little bit, give me more height segments. And I would say, give me also more of an angle here. So put it up to somewhere around there. Okay, that's perfect. Let's just create a cylinder. Let me just rotate this one a little bit. Let's put it inside of it. Change the parameters a little bit. I think that's good. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with another cylinder. Let's make this one thinner. I just want to push it further into my into my helix. That's cool. Let's say this one is also a nice cylinder. Let me just duplicate it once more. And I think I just want to make one more, put it here and put it, for example, there. That's good. Make it longer. Okay, that's cool. So this is all with the geometry. Let's select all of these ones. Right click simulation and put a collider tag on it. Let's select the helix and put it into a whole rope. So what is whole rope? I can quickly show you. So just Google for whole rope, click on this one. The guy named Pashaho was kind enough to provide it. It is tested for version 18 and 19. I use Cinema 4D 21 and it is still working. So have fun with this one. Put it into your interface by pressing Shift C, whole rope. You have it there and then just put it there. So now I have already two of them. Click on the whole rope, give it more bones until it is kind of smooth here. So this is good. Get rid of the controllers. We just want the spline, a rope that is falling down. We don't want to have it fixed in space with the endpoints, so that's good. Create a sweep. Okay, that's perfect. Let's press C, turn it into an editable object and let it fall down. All right, that's looking good. Open this one, get rid of the spline here. All right, nice. Let's hold down Shift C and let's search for turbulence, put it into your scene. Click on it, let's say a scale of 100 and a strength of 100, that is fine. All right, so we have more movement in our rope. Let's press Shift C once again, let's search for a wind, put it into the scene and let's give the simulation a little bit of direction. Let's put this one to 100. I would say let's angle it up. Let's see what is happening. Okay, so I think this is cool. Let's see when we angle it down. That's also nice. Let's angle it towards the camera. Also cool, I think this angle. Could be no that's not so good so put it up there i think i like how this is trapping up there okay perfect so this is already a nice simulation i would say you just go to your sweep hold down alt and put it into a subdivision surface to make it even smoother perfect and then i would just say you go to my patreon and download the materials i provide there for you i have 27 rope materials it's this pack here they come with beautiful names and if you just select these materials, put it onto your simulation, I think then you will achieve something that looks really gorgeous. All right, so just have fun with the technique. I have more of the ropes training tutorials on my Patreon, also on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time. Bye guys.